Emmerdale star calls for Belle Dingle friendships. Emmerdale's Eden Taylor Draper wants the writers to give her character Belle Dingle some younger mates. Belle always seems to be mixed up with the older characters, so I often wish she had more friends. Because she doesn't have a solid group, the actress told Inside Soap. That would be so nice for Belle. There's such a lovely group of younger people who work on the show that I get on with really well in real life. And it would be great to hang out with them more on screen. Belle's a bit of a loner. Related, Emmerdale reveals Charity and Mackenzie's wedding outcome. Taylor Draper also praised Belle's era of working alongside commodionly Eric Pollard at the Village B&B. I thought that was really fun, she said. There are so many amazing people in Emmerdale that I wish could work with more. And obviously new actors, such as Will Ash coming in as Caleb. I'd love to do more stuff with him, that'd be cool. Sometimes you'll do a scene in the cafe with someone and realize that you've not worked with them in 10 years. It's crazy. Double quote. Related, former Emmerdale star Alexander Lincoln discusses possible return as Jamie Tate. Conveniently enough, Belle will soon be cuddling up with Jimmy King's nephew Tom, played by James Chase. He's been living overseas for quite some time and then he's come back to England. He's qualified as a vet so I think we all probably know where he's going to be working. Teased executive producer Jane Hudson at the Soaps Press event this month. Of course, Tom and Belle have a history, which, when they see each other, they rekindle. We will be on a journey with Tom and Belle for quite some time as we play out the story. Double quote. Emmerdale airs on weeknights at 7.30pm on ITV1, and streams on ITVX. Read more Emmerdale spoilers on our dedicated homepage. You might also like. Animal Crossing New Horizons is finally announced on Nintendo Switch. How to watch Amazon Prime on your TV, smartphone and tablet, and enjoy good omens online. Nintendo to release two new Switch consoles this year.